What do we need for Shelly's? Let's find out. Oh, ah, ah, ah. What's up, dudes and dudettes? So we're gonna go over Shelly's, the need to, need to knows, as fast as I possibly can. Okay, we'll get this over with. All right, so Shelly's, you need shells, bigger shells the better. Okay, don't get small shells. Murex shells, turbo shells, escargo shells, perfect. Those, as long as it has a big enough opening for them to go in, the more shells the better. Rocks are okay, rocks are cool, make sure you have sand. They need sand to play in. You don't have to have sand, but they, I mean, come on, give them something to play in. The heater, air bubbler, or you can do like that, and then put a sponge filter in there. Filter, filtrate like crazy. The, uh, the cleaner the water, the better. The cleaner the water, the more that they'll produce, or reproduce, excuse me. Okay, so once you put the shells in, try your hardest to just leave them alone. Okay, so you're gonna get annoyed with them being brown, but pretty soon the brown t turns to green. That's just kind of how it goes with, with Shelly's. You don't really wanna mess with them, that's their house. All right, and when it comes to Shelly's, there is a lot of them like Similis. Similis stick to their own. They, uh, they reproduce with one partner. Multis jump from, jump from fish to fish like a trailer park. And then you got a giant amount of, uh, of uh, fish inside there. Ocelotus are awesome. Ocelotus, ocelotus are diggers. They dig the crap out of the aquarium. They're really fun to watch. They're really fun. You stick your hand in there, they'll attack your hand every time. Shell dwellers and Brevis about the same. Okay, shell dwellers are tough, mean little dudes. Okay, they will handle their own against any fish. But you cannot put these dudes inside an established community. If you put them in an established community, you're setting them up for failure. So if you start a tank out and you put them out at the bottom and introduce them like that, then they stand a chance, okay? I can't take these guys and take them out of here and put them in that. You don't wanna do that, okay? Because all that's doing is just gonna get them beat all to hell and they're gonna stay inside these shells and just go crazy and every time they reproduce fry they're gonna get nipped off okay that's what happens now other than that food I feed these guys spirulina flakes and I also give them blood worms I do the same for these Tanganyikans I don't use the North Fin I don't use uh, um, New Life Spectrum I use Zoomed spirulina 20 flakes Flakes tends to work better for these guys because it actually gets them. If you just drop it in, they get more active and they swim around. They hardly ever go from the bottom to the top. They usually stick to the bottom down. So it's any if you put them in a bigger tank, you usually can put other fish in there as long as they're top. They're, usually you can put some sips in there really cool, some cyprochromus. Those work out perfect. Other than that, if you have any questions, Put them in the comment section below and yeah and by the way real fast anybody that gets a chance to check out people like uh, captain three six five four check him out and uh, yeah right off the pro tem pro tem aquatics check him out and uh, Mixed African Cichlids Community. Check that out on Google+. Plus. Thanks for watching. Peace oh, out. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Open up, go, eat, and then they open the mate. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. You might not get up, come on, get down with the sickness. You fuck, I get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Man, this has now come up on me.